We're nearly finished and the last process we've got to do is to encapsulate the top of these cells uh, so they're protected from, from moisture and from the air. But before we do that we want to be sure that we've really got a functioning circuit because if we encapsulate the whole thing and then we realise that one part of it or all of it is malfunctioning uh, it's going to be almost impossible to correct those mistakes. So in order to test the panel we need to use one of these which is a, a multimeter and uh, we're going to use it as a voltmeter to test the voltage that we're getting off each cell and then to test that all of the cells are contributing voltages to the circuit and that the voltages are summing to what they should be. So to do that, firstly we're going to turn the dial to DCV here, which is, means direct current voltage. So we're going to be measuring the direct current voltage. There's two different types of current, alternating and direct. You don't really need to know why, but you do need to know that off a solar panel you get direct current. So we're going to be measuring direct current voltage as opposed to alternating current voltage. And these numbers here, 2200, 1000, they're just the orders of magnitude. So if you think you're going to be measuring something that's about 5000 volts, you put it on 1000. If you think you're going to be measuring something around, you know, 5 to 100 volts, you put it on 20 or maybe 200. If you think you're going to be measuring something around 4 volts, which we're hopefully going to do, it's certainly going to be down on 20. So we've got that set up on the right setting now. Then you've got two wires that come off here. One is the com wire and that always stays in the same place. The other is the voltage wire. Now this has to be in the right socket. So this one here it's got a V. It's also got some other symbols. You don't need to worry about that. You just need to put it in the one that has the V next to it. The other socket says 10 ADC don't put it in that socket, you'll just get a zero. That socket is for measuring current, which we'll do in a bit. So we've got it set up right, it's on 20 DCV, and we've got this wire in, in the right socket, the one with the V on. So now that we've got a voltmeter set up, I'm going to test uh, individual cells to see that they're working, and then the whole panel. So remember we said that each cell should be giving off about half a volt. But because we're indoors, we're doing this under light, under some light you won't get any reading at all because it won't be the right frequency of light for the panels to work. This light appears to be doing the job. Um, but nevertheless, it wouldn't, it's nowhere near the same as having it outside. So we're going to expect a reading under 0.5 volts, but we should still be able to get something. So what I do is, it doesn't matter if it's red or black, um, it, will, it will only result in you perhaps getting a minus sign in front of the reading you get in terms of which way round the red and black wires go in terms of your measurements but if you see a minus sign just ignore it the number will still be relevant so I'm gonna put one over here so I'm putting that on the top of this cell so that's then negative and I'm gonna put this one on the wires coming off the bottom of this cell which of course go on to the top of this one so I'm merely putting the wire on the top of one cell and then the top of the next cell and that means that I'm measuring the voltage across this cell here because it's the top here to the bottom to the wire coming off the bottom there and as we can see I'm getting reading of about 0.4 volts so that means that that cell is working and as we expected it's just under 0.5 volts because we're inside and not under full sunlight now that we've measured one of the cells and found that it's giving about 0.4 volts we know that for eight cells if they're fully functioning we're going to have 8 lots of 0.4 volts, so that's 3.6 volts as a predicted reading under this light that we should get for all of the cells if they're connected correctly in series and all functioning. So to test that, I'm now going to take these wires and I'm going to put them across the two terminals that we have over here, so the negative and the positive, and we should see that jump. There we go, so that's gone to 3.59 volts, so almost exactly 3.6. So that means that each one of these cells is functioning correctly and giving off 0.4 volts. And we'd expect that 0.4 volts to jump up to even 0.65 volts under good conditions. So now that we know that the panel is fully functioning, we have a solar panel um, and we just need to make sure that it can last as long as possible. So to do that, we're going to encapsulate it.